Hello, BookTube. This is the BookTube Real Talk tag. Um, it was created by Alyssa J. I'll put a link down below. And I was tagged by Steve Donahue. And I uh, watched his video a day late. We've been real busy around here. Um, I'm in the process. This whole room's filled with books. You can't see it from here. But I'm in the process of moving all these books inserting volumes that fit in different spots because uh, I accumulate them and then I don't have room. I always try to leave a little sp spot on the shelf but it, I never have enough shelves. So, um, and dusting. Uh, Winter is pretty much over and um, yeah, the heaters, we have forced air heat. It's a very old, old house and uh, yeah, the dust bunnies. They look like something from the Jurassic. So anyway, let me get to the questions here. Um, so again, it's the BookTube Real Talk tag. And uh, the first question is, what's something nobody told you about BookTube before you started? Well, um, I didn't know anything about BookTube and very little about YouTube. I think I'd used YouTube once to um, fix a dryer. Um, I did, I've, I've used it for more than that. I used it to... Uh, season some cast iron once and uh, so I would watch different stuff on YouTube but not booktube and one day I was searching around because I had found some I think Eastern Press books so I wanted to see if anybody on YouTube talked about books like that and if anybody had any ideas about something I don't remember what now and accidentally ran into booktube though I didn't know that's what it was at first and then I ran into Steve's channel and I thought, you know, it looks like fun. So I gave it a shot. We haven't been on the air for two years yet, but we're getting close. And uh, it's, it's been a great joy. We've, uh, my wife and I, Deb, Deb does all the editing and stuff, and uh, it's been a great help. And um, So um, nobody told me a thing. So... Uh, number two, what's your opinion of the typical booktube videos like hauls, wrap-ups, TBRs, etc.? I like them all. If you made a book haul, be, I, I, I'm interested in seeing what you got, even if it's something I wouldn't have picked up, but I enjoy that sort of thing very much. Um, I like uh, TBRs, even if you don't make it. You had a, you had a goal and you, you, you gave it a shot. Um, wrap-ups, you know. That same thing. I love sh bookshelf tours. Um, I think when I came in on Steve's channel, he'd already been on YouTube for a while. He was doing a book tour, a shelf, a shelf tour, and I started watching those in order. And then uh, my first, uh, I'd say about six, seven months, that's all I did. Um, and it, w it was a way for, well, it's mostly what I did. I did newbie tag and stuff like that. But mostly what I did was shelf tours to get me comfortable being on BookTube. And uh, I did a lot of them. Those of you who have been around for a while, and, and if you remember, that they, they, I probably did too many. I don't know. So number three, what is an assumption you had about BookTube before you started and has it proved true? Um, the only assumptions I had um, were based on watching what folks now call YouTube 2.0. But that, um, so that had started before I ever had a channel. And, um, and those were the people I was attracted to, their channels. And uh, so that's mostly what I watch, that's all of what I watch for BookTube. Um, I do watch some uh, comic book stuff. I watch some music stuff, uh, fishing stuff, so I, I watch other things, boat building stuff, I watch other stuff, but mostly I watch booktube, and so my assumptions going in, because I saw two, booktube 2.0 already in place and growing, and I joined on that way, have, have proven true, I guess, and so uh, it, it, it's uh, it's been what I thought it would be. Uh, number four, what is something you've done that's actually helped you grow your audience? Well, I interact. Um, I've had booktubers email me. I've had them send me things. I've sent them things. I've had um, 
uh, Voxer back and forth with various booktube projects. I've had uh, visits to my library by booktubers and visits to my home by booktubers. Um, so uh, the interactions are what grow your channel. And um, growth's a good thing. It's not really what I focus on. I've, you know, making friends and talking books, is, it's been great. Number five. What is a common mistake you see new booktubers making or that you yourself made? Uh, being, I think you can be a little hard on yourself. I mean, it's it's video. You're having a conversation with somebody or many folks, if, if that's the way it is. Um, say what you believe. Um, talk about the books you like. Um, it's easy to get caught up in projects on BookTube, and it's fun. Read-alongs are wonderful. I'm going to be in um, one I'm really looking forward to starting tomorrow. Uh, about a New Testament Apocrypha. Who would have ever th thought that that was something that was going to be on BookTube and that people would watch? But we have a BookTuber, Joseph Francis Burton. Great channel. He said uh, he's going to do it. So I, I'll join in, and sometimes you get into a project like that. But really, uh, you can do so many of them that you, you're sidelining your own reading and your own reading uh, life. So I think the thing to do is go where your passion is. It's not bad to get into new kinds of things, but just don't get lost in it. Um, number six, what are your thoughts about working with publishers and sponsorships? Um, I would, I tried that, what is it, NetGalley? Um, I, 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 that's also something they offer to librarians. They have a special portal, so I, I could do it anyway. I don't like it. I don't like, I mean, I, I did a book review for Steve's um, um, online journal, which was great fun. I learned a lot from him. Um, but I don't normally, I'm not, I don't go out, I, I have books around me all the time. I don't go out um, looking to get uh, review copies per se. Um, I don't think I'm a book reviewer. So being a librarian is very different than being a book reviewer. And, you know, it, very different professions. I rely on book reviewers. And, um, and I rely on booktube, just conversations. But uh, I'm not a, I'm not a book reviewer, so I I would never work with a publisher, probably unless I did another project for for Steve or something. But um, I don't. It's not how I spend my day. As far as sponsorship goes, I'm not even sure what's meant by that. Um, I I don't have a problem if people monetize their channel. They're doing work. Let them have. You know some sort of reward for their work. I, I have no intention of doing that, but um, I, I, I would think a sponsorship might be problematic. But teach their own, if, as long as you say, just let everybody know because then they may have a, an opinion about what you're doing. But number seven, sort of bleak. Uh, do you think BookTube is dying? You know, I've heard this is, seems to be a strange human thing to have to, to, everything's dying. I mean, when the automobile came out, they probably said bicycling's going to die. They sell more bikes than they do cars. Um, I heard it when e-books came out. They sell more print books now than, I mean, maybe not mass market paperbacks, but they sell more books now than they ever have. Um, it's always this end of the world thing. Um, I, I don't buy it. You know, the video, as Steve mentioned, is a big part of our lives now. Look at what we're doing, right? And um, I'm getting ready to do my first documentary using professional equipment, editing equipment, all that. We're going to do on a, a couple who's been in the publishing world for 70 years. So video is a big deal, but we're talking about books. Books don't go away. You might be talking about sailing. People sail boats. You might be talking about horseback riding. You know, you can, you can be talking about anything. You do more than one thing in your life. And computers, 
They always say they're going to be the paperless office of the future. I use computers. We do more paper now than we ever did before, too. So the dying thing, no, it's not dying. It, you hear that about everything. It's, you could probably come up with 100 examples. So uh, I, I think it says more about our culture than it says anything about reality. So then um, the last one, now that I've wandered off on that a little bit, um, is tag your friends. I'd like to uh, tag, and I don't know who's done this tag. Um, I'd like to tag Todd the Librarian, Todd's Bursting Bookshelves, or Bookcases, Bookshelves or Bookcases. Sorry, Todd. Um, Ernestly Aston, um, PK's Books, um, Alan Morton, I, I hope I'm pronouncing your last name correctly, Alan. Uh, great new channel. Um, and uh, Run Right Reads, um, My Reading Life, and uh, let me throw out somebody else here. Uh, Joe's Books. So um, if I forgot anybody or didn't make it through on the list, feel free to give the tag a shot. It's a good one. Um, there's probably one question like there was with me that gets you gets you thinking or or talking. <laughs> so uh, it's, a, it's a good tag. Uh, thank you for tagging me, Steve. And uh, thank you to uh, Alyssa J for making this. And I did see Paperback Junkie do it the other day. He did a wonderful job. So thank you, BookTube.